So, last question. What's your name? My name is Michael Ann. Oh, hello, Michael Ann. <laughs> and I'm going to take it even farther back to about 1999 and oh. ask you what it was like to work on the 13th floor. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was living in London at the time. I think I was about 26 years old and I, I got this role. And John McTiernan directed it, Mr. Well, he directed Die Hard and Predator, Hunt for Red October. And then um, I had a great time. It was uh, six months in Vancouver Island in Campbell River. And obviously it was a joy to work with Antonio Banderas and, and, and to get to work with to get to go out to dinner with Omar Sharif was a uh, was a real um, you know was a was a wonderful experience and I've got a story actually I was only meant to be on the film for uh, for about two months um, I uh, I was supposed to die in the movie and, <laughs> and for a change they kept me they didn't kill me so um, I remember Michael Crichton uh, God bless him he's passed now but he. Uh, him and John McTiernan would fly back and forward to Vancouver Island, to Vancouver, to trying to get a wardrobe for these all these Vikings, and they kept. I think they went through about five wardrobe and um, mistresses or uh, people, and eventually Michael Crichton and John McTiernan came in and he went, "Tommy, we found you your costume." I'm like, "Great, great, follow me." And they walked me in, and I remember I'm supposed to play a Viking. I'm like, "Okay." Viking outfit. So I walk in and there's this kilt hanging up and there's this, this uh, sheepskin jacket and I'm like, okay, I'm wearing a kilt, am I? And they're like, yes. And um, so I'm, I'm playing a Viking, I look like a Scotsman and then they said, and we want you to have an Irish accent. <laughs> so I was like, uh, I, was like oh, uh, I think my first word was, seriously? And they were like, yeah. Don't you think that's great? And I was like, yeah, no, it's, yeah, no, it's cool. You know? yeah, that's a great idea. And then, and so, uh, you know, they left and I was like, okay, I'm gonna be an, an Irish Viking who looks Scottish. Uh, I thought, well, let's go for it, you know, because he was meant to have been from the Hibernian clan, he, you know, he got shipwrecked in the Irish Sea, maybe he got you know, picked up in Scotland. So yeah, there's a there, there's some sort of a, there's some sort of storyline to it. But I kept thinking to myself, God, what's my friends gonna think? You know, you're playing a Scotsman who's a Viking who sounds Irish, you know. So, uh, but uh, no, I had a great time there, and I ended up, you know, living and uh, being there for six months. So it was a it was a real joyous experience, you know. So. Thank you for what did, what did I say? I think I made that line up. When you die, can I give that to me daughter? <laughs> when I start having a knife towards Antonio. Yeah. So last